What's up guys, Rob Opto Bodies. Now, we've all like wanted to lose weight or start a diet and when I get clients in or I've got people come to the gym and ask them, I usually ask them what's the goal, why do they want to be here? And usually they stand like this and go, I need to get this down. It's always around here, whether it's male, female, you usually see it more in males, seem to carry it more in the belly. So it's about the, the beer belly, usually people call it the beer belly. Whether they drink or not, um, this you see people who teetotal that still develop this fat around the abdominal area now the point of this video is to show that that is a sign of a diseased body so what do i mean by that i mean when you put on body fat so body fat's there as an energy store like you put fuel in your tank for your car you use that to run the car for it to go so body fat is to fuel your body for energy for your muscles for your heart for your organs for your brain it's energy to be able to move, think, organs to work, to breathe, just your diaphragm, your lungs, everything. Uh, problem is we have too much of it. Um, your body stores extra calories away for a rainy day. Problem is we just keep adding to it, adding to it. We don't That rainy day don't come where we don't need to eat and we actually just use our body fat, so it just accumulates. So what's the problem with this? So everyone's got their own personal fat threshold. So what that means is we've got a certain amount of fat cells that can fill up and store this energy so think, think of it as loads of, think of it as loads of little fuel tanks around your body once they get full so your subcutaneous fat so it's fat under the skin that you see you might see it on your arms or your chest your back love handles etc that's your subcutaneous fat so when that gets full that is trying to protect you. your body's take soaking up all this glucose sugar fat that we eat all together and um, it's protecting you so it's somewhere for the energy to go problem is when it get once it gets too full um, your body sees that as a problem. They have too much energy on board. So your fat cells become insulin resistant, which is type 2 diabetes. So fat has to go somewhere. Insulin goes sky high to try and shoot all these nutrients into cells. Um, so then you end up with that problem, insulin high all the time. So it puts it in anywhere it can. So it'll, it'll pack it into organ tissue, visceral fat. That's when the beer belly starts coming. And a lot of times it's solid. It's like, oh, it's, it's all paid for. Or it's solid, there's muscle under there. But usually because it's it's fat around your organs, visceral fat, um, that's causing, it's that's become become solid. So that shows a dysfunctional body. You've used up your fat cells around all your subcutaneous fat. Now your body's, the only place it can go is around your organs. Fatty liver disease, um, just fat all around, fat around your heart, fat around your kidneys, etc. Um, so yeah, as I said, sign of diabetes. If you, if you become diabetic, type two, which is insulin resistance, um, then you're leaning, looking at leaning on to cancers, certain type of cancers, heart disease, strokes, uh, the fatty liver disease, um, and yeah, cancer is like it's a tough one. It's and I've seen it in the news recently, and they're saying that it's the second biggest cause of cancer is obesity. So it's finally coming out, um, and it usually starts with this insulin resistance. You filled up your fat cells, you're having to pack it in that visceral fat. You get in the beer belly, and it's time to make a change. So a good way of seeing if this is a problem for you is as I've said before tape measure waist to height ratio okay wrap the tape measure around your belly button area uh, divide that number by your height and you should be looking at a 0.5 or below if you're in a healthy range if it's above that it's something you might need to need to worry about and something you need to change it just shows that you, you're packing on this visceral fat um, and a lot of times you see people like lean arms and, and maybe a lean back and legs but then they've just got this podge just here and people say oh, it's just here that I need to lose but that's showing that you've used up fat cells around your body and now it's packing on here and it's leading to this heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, uh, liver disease. It's leading to all those problems, whether you drink or not. So, solution, exercise, obviously, diet, okay? Empty those fat cells out, use more energy, move more. Then your fat cells have got your glucose, sugar, fat, whatever you're eating, it's somewhere to go, okay? If your fat cells are full, it has to go into your visceral fat. And that's when you that's when your body's insulin resistant um, uh, all often known as type 3 diabetes Al Alzheimer's dementia so that's looking at a similar sort of problem insulin resistance of the brain that can occur so you're preventing all these all these disease states uh, by exercising so do more empty your fuel tank so you've got somewhere for the food to go rather than just packing 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 getting this beer belly okay go back to my videos about diet Great ways of staying hungry, uh, staying shit satiated, so you're not hungry, so you're not overeating, so you're not setting yourself up for failure. Um, and check that waist to height ratio video as well, so you can see if you're in that um, dysfunctional state. Okay, look after your body, 
look after yourself and respect. You only get one body, so respect it. Treat it like a temple, okay? Any questions, uh, post them on Facebook or my Optimal Bodies page. Please follow that. Like and share this video if you find it interesting. Be interesting to know any comments. Okay, cheers, guys.